So today, Dr. Mike, we want to know about how to toilet train your pet. Really, really important topic, especially for a little one like Tiger here. Yeah. yeah. So how would you toilet train your pet? It can be something really, really confusing and frustrating for pet owners, and it sometimes feels like nothing's going right. It can be complex, but we can just break it down into a couple of simple steps. Here's some tips. First of all, you've got to keep the litter tray clean. Change it every day if you can, as cats don't like dirty trays. Oh, okay. Second is they like to scratch in the tray and cover what they've done with clean litter. So once the litter is wet or dirty, they won't go in it again. So where should we put the litter tray? You know, just like us, pets like a little bit of privacy when they're going to the toilet. <laughs> so think about putting the litter tray somewhere dark, somewhere quiet and somewhere out of the way. They'd like to go to the toilet in private. Also think about putting it in a separate place to where you feed them. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. They want their food and their toilet area completely separate. So what should I do if my cat has an accident? If your pet doesn't go to the toilet in the right place, the most important <laughs> thing to do is to stay calm. There's no point in getting upset. Like, they really don't know that they've done the wrong thing. So yeah. a little bit of patience is really important. One of the important things to do is to, be up, is to clean up properly. Yeah. So you shouldn't use normal household cleaners or bleachers or that sort of thing. Those things will actually encourage the pet to go back to that same spot and go to the toilet. So you really okay. probably need a specific product. Products like Urine Free are excellent because they both mask the smell of urine, but they also, they've got a stain remover in them. So they're doing two things at once. Wow. Okay. Basically what they're doing is they're saying to the pet, this is not a toilet place. It's taking away the odour that would otherwise be in that place, plus it's cleaning the floor at the same time. And if you're having problems with animal odours outside your house, another product you could try is Backyard Fresh. Okay. It's something you can really safely use outside and it'll help to take care of animal odours, so it just won't be so much on the nose. Oh, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> so why would my cat stop using its litter tray? There can be a number of reasons that that might be going on. The first thing to eliminate is to make sure it actually isn't a health problem. Talk to your local vet and they'll probably do some tests. Make sure there isn't a bladder infection or something like that. But there can be other reasons as well. It could be a behavioural issue. Cats are so sensitive, so changes in the household can really upset them, and for whatever reason, that can change the way they go to the toilet. So <laughs> even adding a new pet, a new baby in the household, or lots of different things like that can just put them off their game. So they're quite territorial then? They are really territorial. They're much more sensitive than we are to changes yeah. in their environment. But probably the third thing to wonder about is just what's going on actually in the litter tray keeping it clean, scooping it daily, making sure there's plenty of litter available, that'll give them the best chance of feeling comfortable about using it. Alright, okay. awesome. So Dr Mike, what are the litter box discs? Really, really handy product. With the litter tray, it's all about odour control. Yeah, they can make some mistakes sometimes, so just two of these placed around the litter tray can keep it fresh for them and fresh for us as well. Great product. Oh wow. wow. So how does it work? absorbs the odour but also puts out quite a nice fragrance so it just keeps that whole area more pleasant for everyone. Well thanks Dr Mark. You're really welcome. Thanks Tiger. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs>